I have a problem. One, I have too many computers. Two, people have been asking me all the time, when are you going to be making a Minecraft server since I've been streaming Minecraft lately? Get sub for live streams, by the way. They're actually pretty fun. Now I just need to place this here. No! No! <laughs> Dude, I... No! Now, I've never really deployed a Minecraft server besides an Eternos server for me and a few friends, and if you guys know about Eternos, it would not be a good experience for any of you guys. And I really didn't know where to start, so I turned to any tech person's favorite tool, Google. I tried almost every free VM cloud service out there, but all of them had their own downfall. The first one I tried was Oracle. For some reason, their annoyingly strict North Korean-esque website wouldn't let me continue with my payment information and then forbid me from even trying again. Okay, maybe Azure. Well, they lured me in by saying I could create a free VM, but then wouldn't let me enable the features I needed because of payment info. Again. And Google Planeout just didn't work, so let's go ahead and move on to AWS. This was the best shot that I had at creating the server and I was actually making some pretty good progress until I kept getting file permission issues that made me want to tear my little tiny hairs out. So, bare metal it is. And for this server, I'm going to be using Debian and I know, I know, I'm abandoning my Windows brothers but it has to be this way, okay? If I were to use Windows, I'd be bogging down the system with hardware hungry applications and bloatware and I've really only got 4 cores and 8 gigs of RAM to use. And that's where Debian 12 enters. It can run super light with only a CLI and give me more resources to work with. Also, I already had a Debian 12 ISO on my NAS, so yeah, that's what we're going to be using. <laughs> I'm just going to fast forward through this because I'm sure you guys have either already seen a Debian install or just couldn't care less. After that was done, I installed Casa OS, which is an open source software focused on delivering a simple home cloud experience. And I think you guys can see how this is going to fit into everything that I'm doing here. It was super simple to install with just one command, which is on the screen right here if you guys want to install Casa OS as well. Now, this did take a bit to fully install, so I took some time to actually leave my apartment, touch some grass, and do, you know, things that humans do. Once this was done, I decided to stop doing human things and return to my true goblin form. I went back to my PC and entered the IP address into my browser that Casa OS had spit out in the Linux console. I made an account and was brought to this super clean Apple S dashboard and will be taking a trip to an even more Apple S app store. Here, I installed Crafty on to my server, and if you don't know what Crafty is, it's an open source Minecraft control panel built using Tornado and Admin LTE. It has server scheduling, an interactive console, and the ability to run almost any type of Minecraft server you could ever want. And this was pretty much a no-brainer. It's exactly what I needed. But by the time I got to this point, it was 2am and I was very tired. It is way too late to be doing this. So, I went to bed. The next day when I woke up, well, I felt like I needed 10 chiropractor appointments in a row. But other than that, I was super determined to finish the server so that all of you cool people could play on it. The first thing to do was actually build the server in Crafty, which was as easy as clicking one button. How the hell am I going to get an 8 minute video if everything is just this simple? Well, anyway, now it's actually time to share it with all of you. To do this, I had to use a website called playit.gg. You can download this as an application, but for my use case, I needed it as a plugin so I could throw it into Crafty. Because we all know I'm not going to give you guys direct access to my home network with port forwarding. You little weirdos. But sharing the server was super simple. Like I said, you just download the plugin from playit.gg, go to the file manager in Crafty, go to the plugins folder, right click and upload it to Crafty. And after days of crappy cloud VMs, declined cards, and late nights configuring Linux apps, the server is finally live and you guys can play on it right now. The link will be in my Discord, which is down in the description, and I hope you guys enjoy your time on the server. Also, like the video. Okay, bye.